must bring it with you. Crease its horizon into your clothing with flat flowers dried. Hills, practice them about your hips. Note the severely noted many plain sky. Metaphysically remember your feet calloused by gravel and twigs. The rock you can't take for its size. Recall its large oddness in your grandma's front yard. Revel in large oddness. Reserve one corner of your mind for that large oddness alone. Red wagon, this just sound fits safely in one valley of ear canal. Bear in mind, boys gesticulating on boyness and not meaning to keep another secure corner for when they anger at what they've not guessed yet placed fingers on. Construct a tractor of any color, carry it like one long, lone, brittle bone. Hay bales keep as film stills for compact travel, spliced together closely, they'll always be at once in motion and caught in their own swift stillness. Once finished, carry these on your person, forget, remember, and startle a wide city open. The burning house has few rules. No burning in the burning house. <laughs> Do not mistake the burning house for metaphor. This results in the breaking of the first rule. Do not breathe fanatically. This fans flames and quickens the end of the state of burning. Do not fall in love inside the burning house. You will not get a sense of which burning is pertinent to which sensation. <laughs> if you must smoke, do so with the windows closed so as not to confuse the neighbors with multiple smokes rising. <laughs> Do not remove anything from the burning house. The burning house belongs to itself, and you and your things belong to the house, and the burning is no longer yours to concern yourself with. No burning without the burning house. Playtime with other. Unica and I go dancing, come back all sweaty. Unica stalls in the stairwell. I stare at her stalling. She pleads, says nothing. I tell her it is time to go to bed. She says, not now. I ask her why. She says it's got to do with the lavender in the bathroom. I tell her she's stupid. Tell her lavender is the biggest crime of nature. She's upset, and I tell her I was kidding about the stupid part. She tells me to tie one long string around every one of her fingertips. I do it because I still feel bad. She says it's not tight enough, won't leave her tingling. The tip's got to get cold, cold, ghost-like like an orchid. I tell her it's well cold enough, we're not in the flat yet. Unica sneers, I ought to have known you'd be so frail. In retaliation, I wrap my arms around her, past the point I can wrap anyone, lose feeling, keeping hold, keep holding. She capi capitulates, I drop us oh, both, angry and pooling, and so she calls out for men to pull us up. They laugh from the other side of the wall, so we die like orchids do, falling, soundless, shrill. Ava and I go to the barn, start kicking the shit out of every kickable thing we see. Hay bales kicked, garden tools leaning, kicked also down now, ha. Gloves on the side of the railing, kicked and flying out the wide, wide door, ha, ha, ha. Imagine their hands, she's gasping, ha, 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 ha. Imagine hands were in there, ha, ha, ha. Whose hands, though, Ava? His hands, ha, 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 ha. Laughter fades, kicked out too, as it does when there is no thing left more to kick. I chatter as the dishes chatter, but Emily is silent while she washes them, but fills gaps in chatter with quiet moaning. First time washing dishes? It's a silly question, and she treats it like one, moans louder, moans till the kitchen gets too small. That good-sized blue glass I like cracks in the water when Emily busies herself with the silverware. Not having been disrupted, a little blue glass of blue glass mends into suds, quietly, cleanly, cutting no one, although we know it could. Octavia and I pull weeds from the garden, dandelions mostly. Octavia wraps the stems in aluminum, dips the blooms in bleach, and we watch their splintery petals disintegrate. She lets them behave as though they are alive, positions them perky in nearby wheelbarrow. We say prayers to outer space. We holler when space doesn't answer. She makes up a god and says I can't use it if my person is not ready. I say okay and wipe the dirt off my hands. Claude is at the frame shop considering only frames they can fit themselves into and through. They will only buy as many frames as they have selves. Problem is, I cannot count variable selves while they move through such variable frames. And Claude's pockets are not so deep as to be able to contend with purchases of ever variable sizes. They squelt themselves into one or two selves that can be more rigidly framed. Paula says she will kill me, kill me, and I believe her. She's made a model of the event of killing me. I am a dr I'm before a drawing I made of her, painting, and it is all wrong. I am positioned in gruesome light, looking all deciduous and green and smoky as a premonition. Donkeys and demons and rats and animate semen run oblong round me. She apparitions me more than a little violently, and now I can say I am happy. 
Maya has a habit, stretching eternally as we walk down a sidewalk outside her apartment. It gets old because it slows us down, and more time, you know, makes one old. But now look here, see, we're fearsome delight. We're streaking strides of glamour. Mirrors and women make nearly naked, shining monument words of nothing, and now forgetting, and now overheard panic dropping. Cindy takes Polaroids of me taking Polaroids in her, in her bedroom. I do the same her way. Wow, really, really cute what we've done here. Let's cut them up real small. We do, we do. We're married now, but don't know who got married. All adjacent mar uh, women in the room start to talk, so we make disguises lazily. They see us still under the hats, all kinds of hat, all kinds of head. We're shaking, we're tickled with everyone we've come to know. Pretend you've never met me, and you only see me just now. Cindy is not naked, but I am, and I'm getting ready to make a suggestion. She notices my breath getting ready, licks two bits of photo, sticks them tenderly onto my tits. Tony rips the doll right open. I wouldn't call it horror, but the look on my face makes her pause a moment. Silently, she pulls out a couple more stitches, hands me two eyes of uncertain size. This doll is and isn't you, and you can sit in the middle with it. I swallow the eyes, feel them descend my body non-dramatically. Tony says she's sick of me and I can't blame her. Takes the room in her arms and I go down elsewhere. Doris claims time is a moving object. A moving object is an idea. Ideas go limp, limp without container. Expression is a container. I tell her I am at times myself an expression. Communication is sending. Sending is difficult, difficult with no body. No body is a body is a body is not a sufficient container. And I lost time to growing up to be anew, apart from her stoic chairs, stacked and silently falling. She looks away. I look at her looking away, anew, away again. I wove through seats rows, seats in the theater, to moanings of theater, and it's a darling thing which I kept alive. Every inexplicable corner breathing, a matrix of corners, encouraged matrix of small shadows, which encouraged my eyes to checker every line, and so I had won. Kinged myself silly and inconsolable, but for a fool, which is to say, I stopped myself crying, took the floor, polarized though it was, all for myself, attracted every end, and found it inseparable from beginning, despite the players disheveled all about uncornered, and so wandering out every exit found less. What I had long hoped for got so long, so long no longer had a meaning at all. At all times, I've declared an absence of time, which has made me a desolate girl at the head of a ship, sliding in and out of the same place, which delirious made death a bit of a joke amongst those who can't take a hint. And so stick around to watch time go back to being on time, to being a grandiose gesture of unrealized stone, a sculpture too sick to happen, a clock designed for doomsday, clock to mark a moment which we would not observe should it happen. Invisible clock, it was once seven to midnight in 1953, and tw in 2017, two and a half midnights to midnight, minutes to midnight. Then last year, only 120 seconds away from midnight. Mr. Fox, Mr. Fox, what time is it? Now I can believe it is a fox guarding time in a manner almost unperceived, resembling the one that stared us blankly from street side mattress in the middle of a night that was not night, but dimming the stage for that scene in which you and I walk for Lynn as two people who cannot sleep and are in search of relocating a sense of meaningful space. I pace my room until it is just a room. It's material all too obvious as my mind can exit my mind to see its dismal foldings, observe its littleness just as I see my heart is just a little heart blushing of blood, blush, ah, but you must blush, then not blush, and then kill it. It can go on like this only for a while. A daffodil lives in wood, my face is a force upon a man after Tomas Solomon. A daffodil lives in wood, my face is a force upon a man. Take a living man down to live more, way more, the sound of force without force. Remind me how reminding goes. I tell you the name of fewer flowers than my father could, but I tell you in a way, honestly, my father could not. Lie down quickly to fool the heat. You will repeat yourself for hours. Unending, this is how it goes. You go on, then you do not. Then you go on. Your friend gives you their hand if they've got one to give, or chocolates infused with cardamom or turmeric, or size, you lose a tooth, but not much else than what was already lost. I've released the failure from my hair by now. It goes out into a crow's nest, which is almost certainly there, out of sight. Ignore the succulents, they flourish, or they do not, and I say they do.
Cat goes onto the windowsill, or Cat sits and stares. I stare too. I stare at stairs before climbing. I stare before doing anything. I lie flat in bed. Bed lies flat too on the ground. We flatten against what appears to be also flat. Yet the roundness of everything is a prevention of ghosts. A monument unwinding before the mirror, and the mirror doing what we know by now mirrors do still. A question, but still stillness. Recalling little times between certain times, fascination. What has begun is beginning still. People pleasing, people pleasing, nothing. I judge while trying not to. They'll afford you no love when, they, when you've come due to no other option. I've withered at times. You'd watch what, with wonder at the depth of this, my wandering in and out and closer to, awaying from, moon snickers and water, moon, space for it all, animals and flame, triumphs of holding on, forging life, lives lost. I'm running so slow, water on one side, little houses on the other, reeds taller than me, moon reflected through the water, mirror, mirror, only flashes of who's looking. I've been so dangerous, would burrow into you, drink oblivion, be an oblong hole in the worries of self and world as it appeared once, and I'm still desperate, wild me out of it, wild me into the thick of it, wild me wild, world not only burning, but still going on as it would, uncalled, troubles are calling, if we're missing it, make it here, make it here to us, this is not fanfare or a bargain to through it all again, past time, what time is this, song of myself is not big enough, weeping through the walls of a poem, I've not earned that line, I've not earned anything, but here, Earth spins, not round me, with me, imperceptible, imperceptible, deafening quiet. Which world, which world, which world gave the world to me? None. And nobody's got me. I'm howling with one eye, blinded in the wrong name. I've, I've got hollered to kin. I'm lurking an inch beneath water's glass, palms upward with the image of dying. Lilies, nevertheless lovely. I'm only four degrees with no desire to warm or watch birds die in the trees. I've stopped moving but am moved still. I've got eyes in my hands, feet blinded by shoes, and I'm so far from the ground, yet not ascending. I'm one grief thought away from I love you, and who among you can tell me I'm wrong? I'm looking through an avalanche of houses, stuck to this sliver of world, cussing out every one of them. I've been to meetings about how to be less selfish. I've been to meetings about meetings. I've learned to balance thoughts of I am a problem, but not the problem. I've learned a problem is my charging through pet stores and eyeing fish eyes, eyeing me and losing my innate method to conjure oceanic visions. I've asked multitudinous choirs to seek further multitudes within me. I've been wrong, I've been wronged. Outside snow globes of moments, I've forgotten my jacket. I pretend I know you still. I pretend every fold of me is known still to somebody. I've got this body and it seems to have me until it doesn't. Crying isn't good enough, but go easy. Who calls the night good? Night is night, it is, it is, I am, I am in it all the time. If I could call one reality the most real, it would be night, night on its haunches with me lurching through. I don't want to tell people what to do, how to do it. Well, I do, but stop, stop till I've got myself in order, which would be to pause for a lifetime. But that isn't gonna do it, so I'll tell it to you slowly. Let me love me, you love you. I am a man on the hillside saying I am a man on the hillside and I'm punishing my lack of confidence being merely an aside to the hill rather than atop and shouting I am a man atop the hill. How to change my condition is beyond my imagining yet I can imagine you hear me when I say I am a man on the hillside and so I call up to the sun, climb down to the next man falling. The trinity of me is near violent as a, tr as a classic trinity. I am a man on the hill side. I am a man atop the hill. I am the hill. I'm falling into myself over and over and over, so long as threes can twist over their sides. If words were what they mean to be, all fireflies would be actual falling stars, and falling stars fireflies are falling stars in Japanese, stated a man in documentary. And if this is the case, as a child, every field was a fire. But I am no longer a child, and fields don't call the same fires to them as fireflies can no longer beckon the night to them. Artificial light so loud, but what about light is artificial, it is constructed, or nightlight made of a reflections of the same stuff, but still I miss that particular particle of night, which soon may only be dreamt of. A dawn underneath this dawn is what I'm awake for, from a wrong-sided night who is saying wrong is not me, but some person seated in the wintered notes of a town I thought I left, but follows me through bridged parts of bike rides above siloed bits of this place, which I cannot name because I'd say too much about that and not what is here, which is uncertain anyhow. A nullified candle tangles an undid flame upward, inhales a room itself taken in, all in, alteration before the mirror, and it is a sightly thing. 
I kill off a dozen little deer poems and masturbate and kill off one dozen little moon poems, then eat pasta unremarkably, take off my clothes and peer down at this, my little pasta-filled body, and consider the room and its killable size, space, too, everything is killable, as in it is able to be unseen. Catch, catch the ball, I made my body bright red, a ball beneath head of shower, hot water from that shower head, I head down, catching a spaced out ringing. Lost before river, when river went met river, river between river, a rivulet unnerved. I cracked my head with my hand and rivulet got, gets excited at how mysteriously I did it and feels no longer conspicuous in its nerves. It all been pretend anyhow. No, not this. No, the cat's tail, not, it, uh, not an incident left unnoticed. This heartbeat behind my ear, I realize he does not belong to me, and the realization flushes over everybody. My body is what it is to be born incorrectly bound to this vehicle. 446, an indigo lightens, branches no longer silhouettes against the sky doing nothing but backdropping, and you no longer excused by yourself to be by yourself, and awake you are treasonous to the way you ought to be, believe the window an actual window and not punched out rectangle. It's no set as imagined, imaginary life as imagined, real lives dreaming through the other sides of those windows, like it or not, if you describe how you imagine them, it could be Cupid, I will tear it down. Yesterday, it was this incident we bit into, and it was not rotten, just disappointingly thin. She cored an apple with the wrong knife and got herself real bad on the thumb, immediately got the thumb to her lips and sucked it till it was wormish, and she felt nothing at all except a tinge of what was meant to come. I cannot be what I've been now, worrying, insulated, insolent, only a matter of what now, how now, the mammal goes sleeping into folds of laundry I've not done, done this calling, called out for that storm, threatened but not coming, I came and came again, imagining every hand of the morning on me, opened my legs to the stupid sunrise, giggling, the both of us, I go a-roving, a-roving through troves of fathers, return with innumerable fathers, small and clutching my limbs, swinging, what became of them, they've told themselves off and distant, and I only see them when I crack my knuckles. Job well done, I'm telling myself. Value that rumor, rumor is value. I only see what it's been shown. A house painted so many times, the paint buckles. In its inches, belts off my circulation, numb. The painted house unwavering, its chimes are not alarms. A house wakes every hour on the hour. Our names are no longer important. I've lost track of what I think you are, and now I've spent no time. It all comes back. Shopping cart, worn clothing, empty but for the graffiti, flat against the wall, thinning contrast. From where? Where was I? Little odd scrapings of pleasant, hello in the grocery store, whisperings of unquiet. I am twicely there, digital memory, this memory, every witch thing unruly. I was born in a town of little odd, adjacent to church. I am no longer there, but break out the kitchen sink, honey. I'm not coming home. The kitchen floor was fitting once for fucking, but now seems the stage for waiting. This tea to cool, too cool now. Goodbye, goodbye, I go, but only as you like. Timid, there went solace. Lost it to the wonder, meant only to open up our faces to the east, as the east can tell us something of no, don't look, don't look this way for now. Saying, 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 said, green moss pulls me upward. I stack my dread up to the horizon and wait, I wait, see the sun pummel it over. Leaves dangle from high branch, makes an empty glove of itself, waves at me. Scary, scary, I unzip the pants of conflict. I want to go away, slip into my exact nature, stand on the hill of a hill, gasp and swear reality. <coughs> Tuning into, running into, itself, myself, is dumbstruck, striking chords of which I cannot mark again. At once I mark no one, no words, but at land I see feet unfurl and I think some thought. Fail to imagine childhoods not mine vividly, and mine vividly. I'm poorly not doing poorly, poorly diagnosed, designed. I want my life clowning quiet, so, so it goes, so, so, my kind of blue implodes. In kind, I kid you not, my kid is loud. Kidding, but not really kidding, as in budding kids, deliberating my next second. I'm sitting here for you. I am specific when I spin out. Don't always have porcelain to break, but when I do, it is marvelously indelicate and effortlessly. I leave blood on surfaces, undivinely and divine. I portion out my snacks to follow unevenly, on and on and on again. Differently, I make myself large, largely at large. I am gone. I believe this God gets bigger as I reduce. I cannot be anyone, only someone, but to be one at all is a trial, and I forgot my line. 
I don't have the space to know who watches. I cave my capable parts into majesty, set the flowers down where they can rot without me. Still, I cannot tell you why I had them. Colors of the afternoon insurmountable, yet never without motion. An unstaring eye of a bleached midday summer sun. Suns, I would if I had them, go without them to a sauna, sweat them out of me, go naked before broad windows, make angels and steam, lower myself downstairs into cold, cold cylinder of water, never think again of what I could do for them, only what I could do for the impressions of them that remained after I forgot. My shoes grow dusty, not with soil, after George Offen. My shoes grow dusty, not without soil, and one does wonder how one becomes one distant, how alone, alone can be. The bridges slow themselves into eternities, rain into endless rain. Unarranged, we become intermittent blooms of buildings, building into sky, rubble, producing concavities. Forget musculature or never know it. We don't begin ourselves, soil does. This growing dirt of soil, soil of water and dirt and not moving so much and not so much today or yesterday. Who can say what of tomorrow or of the next sequence of what is this moon and space between hunger and sleep, that part of the bed we unconsciously fought for, made wild accusations of mourning for. In the morning, who recalls the colors of their dreams? I can cry of relief in the airport and still crave you to look back. I miss my father again, I miss you, and I never thought I could see you like this. I wish it could have been more, more honest, honestly. This all repeats itself. In my days, I feel quite abandoned, but by whom? Who was there to begin with other than I? My feet grow disproportionate to the sky, and again, the sky and feet, the verticality disappointing and recollection of now so unimagined, but I imagine it becoming more layered than the next now. Who wants the next now? Now, now, I want now. But it has come to pass so exquisitely, I should never have it. I'm laughing into the corners of my unpleasable nature. Indentions of brick, but no real brick. The men leaning, not delicately over the counter. I have busted the minutes you doubted, I doubted through, and now I've got this pizza. The word on everyone's lips is oh. I've been told moths can die of loneliness, but see that gravity never worked them. My feet have never been so still. Can you smell the difference of this rain? We've sought ways to be less possessed. To run or walk is always a matter to be discussed, but not over dinner, never over dinner. I knew this over I knew this all along. In church, there was a staircase down, and it was the same as a dream I had, once upon a mattress atop water inside a cavernous certainty. True nowhere was this, yet I've seen a painting of this cave, and I wonder about declarations of nothing, same as I do stairs descending, churches, same as I do dreams mentioned anywhere, same as I do, same as I do, I do uttered before a crowd or proclivity, cavities unfound, I have too many to be known since I filled them with convex. I convinced myself unvexed. I'm laughing now just as you laugh, verily and unrefined. An overcoat I'm dying to wear into dying, a stated intention flops before me. After it, you and I are saved by wretches like you and me, retching out tales of tales. I've, got, I've gotten head while getting ahead of myself. I'm looming over myself not getting over the way your window loomed gray over the grayness of your mount. Near that window, I photoed a photo of a little gray dog that you built a machine to build. Can't tell what of that arrangement I'm missing. The hell of it is not paved the nature of what was there, but a generalized missing of something and conflict with what it was. Jacob's ladder with eyes closed used to be evidence I could commune with some god somehow beyond my desire to, uh, for control. There was an intuition blooming, like how singular underwater I am held all at once, but when I am alone, have I vanished myself? Wheels go backward if you watch them from an unflattering perspective. They go as they were meant to, which was going, which was going to go when the going was good, which was always when prompted. I never knew the way to the station. I never knew the way to the, the station was only a station, not the station. I've made statements about a station that was not the station. Still, I would love to find it anyhow without all the wandering and wandering between. After how to spell the, the fight. Internet dripping from pocket on S-Bahn, windows tip inward, car stops. I tip my seat into geometry without world. I find myself worldless for the fourth occurrence of a week, and I forget every string I move my hand over, the space of my lap which holds nothing but my own revolutions, and I am wanting incongruence, a new shape of a word for world. <laughs>